The world's oldest leader turned 90 on Monday, but some in Cameroon aren't celebrating President Paul Beer's milestone. We live in a, a violent, brutal dictatorship. Edith Carwalla was at the front of a crowd of students that welcomed Beer on a tour of the United States in 1984. Back then, there were hopes the new president would bring stability and democracy and end corruption. Over the 40 years, it has gotten more and more violent and brutal. As we speak to each other today, we are in a moment where we always live with fear as Cameroonians. Fear is permanent. Karwala, who challenged Beer in a 2011 presidential election, says her support for him evaporated as economic progress stalled, dissenting voices were silenced, and separatist violence divided the country. A government spokesperson did not respond to calls seeking comment. But Beer has repeatedly defended his record in the past. He says the government has taken strides to return peace to minority English-speaking regions. Millions do also continue to support the president, though international observers have raised doubts about the fairness of elections that Beer routinely wins with ease. He regularly spends long stretches in comfortable European hotels with his wife, a frustration for those who believe the country's crises require closer attention. Taxi driver Kuam Eve struggles to make a living and criticizes what he describes as rampant corruption under Beer. He pauses as he speaks, though, mindful of who might be listening. At 90, Carl Waller says Beer should spend his days playing with his grandchildren. But the president's supporters, like former minister Elvis Ngole Ngole, say there are advantages to Beer's age. The wiser you become, the more experienced you become, the more tolerant you become. Others disagree. Popular journalist and whistleblower Paul Schuter has been repeatedly beaten and tortured in recent years. The prominent beer critic is one of several reporters who've been violently targeted. Two journalists were killed in the last month, prompting condemnation from the United Nations. Schuter says if beer wants to fix things for Cameroonians, then he should go. For now, the journalist lives in fear. Even the sound of his floorboards creaking, he says, sends him into a panic.